Hello and welcome to yet another episode of U News Weekly, this series of audio video podcasts brought to you by the UN agencies in Uzbekistan, together with the UN Information Office. This is episode 26, where I'll be your host, Nigiri Mirbaeva. Welcome to the show. UNDP and its role in enhancing the public administration system in Uzbekistan. Signing of the Memorandum of Understanding between the UNDP and the Academy of Public Administration of Uzbekistan. Paving the way to 2014, an action plan for activities has been developed. And in our special guest section, Kakramon Yusupov, a representative of the Academy, talks about what the Academy is doing in the sphere of public administration. UNDP is a key partner of the government of Uzbekistan in the sector of public service and public administration. And our next story has all the details about the work that the UNDP does in public administration. Public administration reform is a core area for UNDP's worldwide support. Today, UNDP is implementing over 500 projects in more than 124 countries worldwide, covering various aspects of public administration and local governance reform. Modernization of public administration system and improvement of civil service have been among top priorities toward deepening democratic reforms and developing of civil society in Uzbekistan. The president of Uzbekistan, Islam Karimov, in his recent speeches, repeatedly spoke about the need for our country to reach the highest goal, to become one of the developed democratic countries in the world. Specifically, it was noted that we need to continue modernization and liberalization of the country, democratic renewal of the political, legal and economic system, formation of a strong civil society. Through implementation of joint project initiatives, UNDP has been contributing to the establishment of an effective, transparent and accountable public administration and civil service system in the country, both at the central and local levels, while providing professional technical expertise and practical assistance to the government, bodies of state authority, administration and civil society institutions. The Academy of Public Administration under the President of Uzbekistan plays a leading role as a think tank in nurturing highly qualified civil servants, carries out fundamental and applied studies in the field of public administration and civil service system. It is noteworthy that the Academy has a huge capacity and favorable condition to bring advanced international experience into the education and research practices. Acknowledging this, the UNTP has been actively cooperating with this institution in developing an effective capacity building system for the national civil service. Important roundtable on the subject of public administration um, and already the early discussions have shown that uh, there are many interesting subjects coming up. Uh, to make uh, public administration really service oriented. I think that is the key and uh, our cooperation with the government has been uh, very varied in the area of public administration from fiscal uh, transparency uh, in cooperation with the Ministry of Finance. So recently we have uh, supported the budget code uh, to local uh, government strengthening local government to the core of public administration reform and uh, this is the subject of today's uh, roundtable uh, and here we are especially proud that we have this newly established uh, uh, relationship with the Academy for Public Administration. Um, I'd like to uh, express uh, our satisfaction about this uh, partnership, uh, which is only a couple of months old and has already yielded the first results. The signing of the Memorandum of Understanding between the UNDP and the Academy of Public Administration of Uzbekistan was a milestone in the cooperation between these two partners. Our next story has all the details about this memorandum. A milestone in bilateral cooperation between the UNDP and Academy was the signing of the Memorandum of Understanding, which stipulated institutional capacity development and strengthening of educational and knowledge base of the Academy. This year, within the signed memorandum, the parties have developed the concept of an electronic journal, Jamiat Baboshkorov, which will launch later this year. The journal serves as a platform for strategic dialogue on various aspects of modernization of public administration, including civil service. The journal's database contains thematically sorted soft copies of printed periodicals that can be used for writing scientific papers, articles, manuals, magazines and books. Joint efforts of the parties also resulted in development of the distance learning portal to train the civil servants of local authorities on contemporary ICT skills using electronic document management system at work, result-based management. To support the research activities of the APA in the field of public administration, UNDP founded the APA's annual subscription to the electronic database JSTOR and OECD iLibrary and conducted special skills training courses on effective use of these library sources. 
The Memorandum of Understanding between the UNDP and the Academy of Public Administration of Uzbekistan paves the way for more activities in 2004 and in the near future. Our next story has the details on these activities and the action plan that the UNDP took. The Memorandum of Understanding paves the way for implementation of more activities in the near future. To this end, parties recently inked the action plan that foresees implementation of activities in 2014 within the memorandum. Some of these activities include development and dissemination of study materials and manuals on civil service, fundamentals of civil society, electronic document management system Ihujad, and others, practical support to establishing partnership with foreign institutions on public administration, awareness raising of master studies and trainees of short-term courses of the academy regarding practical results in pilot regions, including including EDOC management system, local government information centers, one-stop shop on public service delivery, rural tourism development model. Conducting joint analytical research and publication of research results in electronic journal Jamiat Baboshkorov, Society and Governance. And promotion of the portal on distance education of civil servants at mad.dba.us. Uh, the Academy of Public Administration is a key partner of UNTPs, and today we want to discuss what the Academy is doing um, in the sphere of civil service. And with us today we have Kakramon Yusupov, a representative of the Academy. He will tell us a little bit about his work. Hello, Kakramon again. Thank you uh, for having me. Uh, what we want to know is, uh, we know that recently you visited France with a delegation uh, to learn a little bit more about uh, civil service. What can you tell us about these, this uh, trip? Uh, we in our academy try to take the best international practice in education in the field of public administration on board. And uh, therefore, uh, in March this year, we went to France to visit ENA. ENA is a leading edu edu educational institution in the in public administration in France. And um, I th it was a very valuable trip in, in my mind because actually and I was, it wasn't like any other educational institution that I've ever visited before. Because, uh, you know, they basically don't give any, ac any academic degrees mm -hmm. because their educational programs are heavily fo focused on practical aspects. They try to instill practical skills. Um, therefore, they have very specific uh, curricula and um, especially they have very specific uh, admission process. During the admission process, they make sure that the, the, uh, the students, uh, incoming students, have already have strong theoretical background in public administration. So, and the whole program is uh, you know, focused on, um, on uh, practical aspects. In fact, they don't have regular teaching staff. Mm -hmm. What they do, they invite uh, the leading uh, specialists uh, in the field, um, practicing specialists, um, um, uh, regional administrators, uh, people from National Assembly, um, ambassadors, so, so, um, so it was it was very uh, special. It was a very special special program, and um, because it, it it is very much different for, from our curriculum, from our uh, academic program, um, we uh, we try to take um, some of the um, uh, points in the, in their program. Uh, what I uh, I can. Uh, Give an example. For example, we revise the admission process in our school uh, to make uh, uh, to target people who have already strong background, uh, educational background in the field, and also uh, um, we the, we targeted those people. We we try to attract those people who we believe can uh, commit to civil service in, in the future, and um, we also revised our summer internship program. Mm -hmm. Uh, in order to give more practical value to the to our internships, uh, by the way, our students go through uh, two internship, through summer internship and um, uh, winter internship uh, in their second year. So we undertook um, um, a pilot summer internship program. We sent half of our class into regions uh, and um, uh, gave them. A task to design a regional uh, development strategy and development pro uh, program 
on, on, on one hand, our students were expected to learn the um, outstanding issues in, uh, in social and economic sphere in the regions. And uh, also, uh, on the other hand, they were uh, supposed to come up with an uh, analytical report mm -hmm. uh, um, the, that develops uh, um, uh, strategy activities the, targeted at developing uh, regions. So we believe that this uh, new summer internship program um, has both uh, educational value uh, but also allows them, th these, uh, our students, to prepare to take these pos uh, uh, positions as civil servants in the regions, mm -hmm. because they learn the outstanding uh, problems uh, and uh, firsthand. Um, and uh, uh, meet the local uh, agencies um, meet people who work on different uh, social and economic issues. So, um, so it, was it, it, it was uh, very valuable in our mind. And in fact, next year, we think that this, uh, this program was very successful. Next year, we're sending the whole class to out, out to regions okay. over the three months um, summer internship. So is the NA the only international organization that you work with? Or are there any other international partners that uh, your academy works with? And in what sphere do you co cooperate with them? Uh, no, we have uh, we have signed a memorandum of understanding with uh, Management Development Institute of Singapore. Mm -hmm. uh, we're looking forward uh, to uh, our trip. We're going to Germany mm -hmm. very soon, to uh, Herdy School of Governance in Berlin. <laughs> um, we also uh, 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 we we're planning to meet with uh, uh, public administration school in Maastricht. Uh, I don't know the, exactly the name, but uh, so yeah, it is it is our uh, one of the primary um, uh, objectives to learn to the best. Yeah, to make international partners and learn the best international experience in the field of public administration mm -hmm. and in education, mm -hmm. primarily. So, uh, so we're working in that direction. Uh, you mentioned the Memorandum of Understanding with the MDIS. Uh, we also know that you signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the UNDP. Can you please tell us a little bit about the significance of the Memorandum and why it is that you signed it? We have experience of working with the UNDP, but um, signing the Memorandum of Understanding um, it does have its uh, it does have its uh, significance because it uh, says that UNDP and the Academy have common vision, mm -hmm. common vision that uh, uh, regarding uh, the education in public administration uh, and also um, in policies, mm -hmm. right? Uh, that uh, uh, that are supposed to bring. Uh, Good governance, mm -hmm. especially good local governance. Mm -hmm. um, so we have a understanding, we have common vision. So that we believe uh, result in Hard productive, yeah, productive, productive uh, efforts mm -hmm. in the future. Can you please tell us a little bit about the electronic journal that you developed together with the uh, UNDP? Um, why it is that there was a need to develop it, and what is its significance for uh, the UNDP and the academy in general? Um, we have our own academic journal. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the current um, uh, editorial practices uh, require that we need to have uh, a web-based uh, 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 platform for mm -hmm. our journal because uh, because uh, a lot of uh, we have a lot of applicants who submit their uh, papers to our journal. So to in, um, to administer efficient editorial uh, process, we need to have an electronic platform uh, so that uh, our uh, the scholars can sign in, set up uh, their account, and track mm -hmm. the editorial process uh, where their uh, the, right. So they need to see 
where the the um, what what their status is of their paper mm -hmm. is, and um, not only that, of course, electronic journal allows uh, to, to release more mm -hmm. uh, academic papers. Mm -hmm. So uh, this um, we uh, with the assistance of UNDP, we invited um, a, a consultant from India, mm -hmm. and uh, so over a two months period. He learned our objectives, our policies, editorial policies, and he designed the uh, uh, the software mm -hmm. that supports this uh, this uh, this our, our uh, electronic journal. Mm -hmm. um, so it's it's about uh, to launch mm -hmm. by the end of this year, mm -hmm. and. Uh, yeah, so we're looking forward to it. Uh, for our government, modernization of public administration is a very important topic. Can you please tell us a little bit about uh, the efforts that your academy takes in modernizing the public administration system in Uzbekistan and uh, your efforts in the sphere of civil service? Uh, we're all aware about the changes, uh, substantial, significant changes that are taking place in the political sphere, social sphere, economic sphere. In our country, um, government undertakes uh, reforms to uh, to build modern democratic society, um, uh, provide uh, sustainable long-term development, um, level regional economic and social development. Um, you know, addresses environmental issues. So. Um, uh, and the government acknowledges acknowledges the need for civil servants who are capable of facing the tasks, you know, uh, given to them. Uh, so in that, with, with that purpose, last year uh, our academy was reorganized, new curricula were adopted, uh, uh, new teaching staff were recruited, and uh, new goals were set. Uh, so that uh, our country has steady supply of highly qualified um, uh, employees, employees yeah, in, in public administration. Uh, so our curricula are designed in a way that, first of all, they provide very strong theoretical background. Um, but we also put emphasis, strong emphasis on practical aspects or practical skills of civil servants. Um, and the curricula, uh, the main, uh, there are two main academic programs, masters in public administration, masters in public sector management. And the curricula of both these programs have two uh, internships, three months uh, summer internships, so our uh, students do not have extended summer holidays, and also winter internship. When they uh, uh, learn about the current outstanding challenges, issues, uh, they uh, work on their uh, research projects, and uh, they specifically take research projects that have uh, strong practical value. So, although we uh, uh, our academic programs are con uh, consistent with uh, international uh, practice in this um, in this field, but uh, the difference is that it has strong component in uh, practical training. Uh, the vision of the government is such that they, uh, they see, they know that these academic programs are tailor-made to our own needs and they train modern civil servants that are capable to address the, the current and future issues that the government faces, both regional and central governments, face and they can advance the policies and reforms um, that uh, pursue um, 
long-term sustainable development and stability in our country. Thank you very much for the interview, Kramanike. It was a pleasure to talk to you today. We hope to see you again in our program. Thank you. Pleasure was all mine. Thank you for having me. That is it for this episode. To find out more about all things UN, don't hesitate to visit us at our website www.un.us or at our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash unique We hope to see you again next week.